Welcome back to Access Daily. You loved our next guest on the show, Devious Maids, and now she has a new scripted podcast you want to check out called Sisters of the Underground. And she and Eva Longoria are the executive producers of that. But please welcome Danya back to our show. Hi, Danya. Danya. Hi. So great to see you. So good to see you. You look great, by the way, both of you. <laughs> thank California you. and look, those tans uh, look thank incredible you. on you. Her and her husband, such nice people. Great, great couple right there. And it's funny because there's a lot of six degrees right here with Rosalind. Rosalind Sanchez and Danya and mm -hmm. Eva Longoria. We're all, we're all homies. I love right that. There. Before we get into the podcast uh, you're doing with Eva, how, how is the family and the kids? Because you have twins. Uh. Yes, I have twins. They're eight. They're almost nine, December. But I feel like they're 11. They're so smart. They're so outspoken. They have such different personalities. And we, you know, we just came back from New Zealand because I just finished the se season two of uh, Sweet Tooth. Yes. So uh, so we got to they got to come with me and oh, it was so fun to have them there and experience that with them. And I love that you uh, the culture is obviously still important to you and you speak to your kids in Spanish. Yeah. It's hard though, right? When they go to school with other kids that don't always speak it, isn't it so hard? It's very difficult. You know, the thing about Spanish for me is that they that was the first the first language they learned. So like they were really into the Spanish at the beginning and then they started school yeah. and they kind of got off of it a little bit. And I'm a big believer of like let it happen naturally mm -hmm. and effortlessly. And funny enough, now they both they, they went to camp and a lot of the kids in camp were speaking Spanish. So obviously we're in California and they're like hanging out with these like, Spanish kids and uh, they wanted to learn Spanish. So they came up to me and they were like, okay, I want to learn more Spanish. So oh, now we've been practicing best. more. I awesome. have a little board in my kitchen. Yeah. So I, every week I put a different Spanish phrase. And so they just practice it all week long. I what think was that's this the week's? easiest. Uh, ayuda, por favor. Which is, Help me, please. Help me, please. That's right. <laughs> Every Help mom knows please. that one. <laughs> I'm going to do the board. I needed the board for me to keep it on right there. All right, Danielle, let's talk about your latest project, Sisters of the Underground. You're producing it with uh, our yes. girl, Eva. Tell us uh, tell us about it. Yes, you know, it's a beautiful uh, scripted podcast about the Mirabal sisters, who are these incredible, courageous Dominican women who started a revolution against a very ruthless dictator, Rafael Trujillo, back in the 1960s. Mm. Uh, so it's a beautiful way for us to retell the story to a brand new generation. Yeah. Uh, it's really empowering. And, you know, for Eva and I, we've known each other for a really long time. And I know even with her having a, a child now and for me with my kids, it's really important, the stories that we want to tell. And obviously, outside from being, from being a Latin story, it's a, it's a story of courage. It's a story that makes us have a better sisterhood between us as Latinas, like really, you know, being there for one another and inspiring not just, you know, young girls, but also, you know, children in general to really understand that if you really stand up for what you believe in, that you can make a difference. I love awesome. this story. Awesome. Who do you play in the series? So I am the narrator um, and I play Minu Mirabal, who is the, the daughter of Minerva Mirabal, who's one of the, the sister, who, by the way, is being played by, uh, uh, by is being voiced by Judy Reyes. Oh. The talented Judy Reyes plays uh, Minerva Mirabal, and she's the driving force behind the movement. They were known as uh, the Mirabals, uh, the, the Mar Las Mariposas, the Mirabal sisters. And, you know, we're very lucky. We, I feel super blessed that iHeartRadio and My Cultura Network really provided us with the freedom to hire also Dominican voices to voice them. And it's not just, you know, Judy Reyes, but we have Celine Estorvidio, Charlene, uh, Hemke Maderas, Akari, Jane Santos, um, Sergio Carlos, and all these are real Dominican voices. It really allows us to really come in and- it's authentic too. Yeah, yeah, let people really understand that this is what we sound like. Uh, we also hired uh, our showrunner, writer, is Jose Maria Cabral, who is a Dominican writer. And, and the female Dominican voice behind it is also Mari Castellanos, who's a Dominican woman. Uh, she lives in New York. So yeah. it's been really amazing. My niece actually voices my niece in the podcast. Oh, that's that's cool. cool. So it's really great. Gabby, a big shout out to Gabby. <laughs> Your niece Gabby right, right there. there. That's awesome. Congratulations on that. That's great. Thank you so much. I'm really proud of it. You know, this for me right now, it's all about, you know, passing on a positive message and like really being able to to tap into what matters, right? Yes. This like power of love and unity. And the shocking thing about this was like, this was back in the 1960s. Yeah. And 
is how difficult must have been for these women in the 1960s in the Dominican Republic, which is a very patriarchal society, to really stand up for what they believed in. And they did it in a very organized fashion. And I do, I'm a firm believer that if we do that as a people, yeah. then we don't have to rely on other, you know, on governments or anything else to really pass our, you know, our, our thoughts forward and to really live in the kind of world that we want to live in, right? Exactly. You can I do can't something wait about it to yourself. listen. Real quick before we go, because the reason I want to make people uh, aware of that, that you were in New Zealand is because yeah. um, uh, she's in this show called Sweet Tooth. Yep. Which, um, for those not familiar, just really quick, tell, tell us about it. Well, Sweet Tooth is, yes, an, incredible, actually, is an incredible show, honestly, yes. and it tells an, an incredible story of this young dear boy who happens to be trying to find himself in a world that has crumbled in a, uh, mm. a post-apocalyptic world after a pandemic. But really, it's a story of you know, finding yourself and being comfortable with who you are, and for him, being different in a brand new world. And I play Amy Eden, who is sort of like, I end up becoming the mother of all the hybrids. They're called hybrids. Uh, and uh, it's about protecting them and making sure that, that that we really take care of nature and the things that really matter awesome. uh, in the world. So where does that manager, air? Big, big fan. Wait, where, where is Sweet Tooth on? Netflix. Thank Netflix. You, Netflix. 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 I'm going to watch that. We're... Great to see you, as always. Thank you, this the is so fun. And listen, the first episode of the podcast is going to be released on Wednesday, August 31st. Viewers, can listen on iHeartRadio or anywhere to listen to podcasts. We'll be right back. Oh, good. <laughs>